Welcome to this discussion about different types of disinfectant chemistries, part four of our facility sanitation awareness webinar, brought to you by Alpha Tech Pet Incorporated, serving the animal care profession since 1989. I'm Dr. Seitz, the president of Alpha Tech Pet Incorporated. For purposes of this discussion, the types of chemistries to be discussed will be halogens, peroxides, sulfates, quats or quaternary ammonium compounds, alcohols, and a few other chemistries. Regarding halogens, the two most familiar would be those of chlorine and iodine. The iodophores or iodine compounds I'm not going to spend time on as they are really not practical as routine disinfectants due to their staining and high cost. They are, however, excellent disinfectants. The three chlorine disinfectants to be discussed will be sodium hypochlorite, that's bleach, calcium hypochlorite, WYSIWASH, and sodium dichloroisocyanurate, which we find in pure tabs and or brew clean. But before progressing any further, a brief discussion of the pH scale is needed to properly understand differences in the various halogen chemistries available. Differences, by the way, that are quite significant and will only make sense once you understand the pH scale. The pH scale is used to specify how acidic or basic a solution is and runs from zero to 14. The lower the number, the more acidic a compound is, and the higher the number, the more basic or alkaline a compound is. A pH of zero to one is where you'll find strong acids like hydrochloric acid or battery acid located, while higher pH solutions near 14 are where you'll find solutions like liquid drain cleaner, oven cleaner, and sodium hydroxide. Though acids are corrosive, it is important to note that basic solutions are even more corrosive than acids. A pH of seven is considered neutral, so the farther one moves away from seven, the more acidic or basic a solution becomes, and the more dangerous to humans and animals or damaging to materials and surfaces it also becomes. Simple, right? Now let's take a look at the halogen chlorine for a few moments. pH plays a very important role in determining the effectiveness of chlorine products, and here's why. In chlorine solutions, two forms of free chlorine exist in a pH-balanced equilibrium with a pH of 9.0 being the tipping point that determines which of the two forms are the dominant form of chlorine present in that solution. The two forms of chlorine are hypochlorous acid and the hypochlorite ion. What's important to note is that hypochlorous acid is 120 times more powerful as a disinfectant than the hypochlorite ion is. So obviously, the better halogen disinfectants will be those having a pH of less than 9.0. The first of the three chlorine products I'm going to discuss is the one most familiar to everyone, bleach or sodium hypochlorite. Because bleach is so unstable, it needs to be stabilized by the addition of lye, which brings its pH up to 11.5. And because a pH of 11.5 is higher than the chlorine equilibrium tipping point of 9.0, the chlorine in bleach will exist mostly in the hypochlorite ion form of the compound. As was stated in the prior slide, the hypochlorite ion form of the compound chlorine is 120 times less powerful than the hypochlorous acid form is as a disinfectant. The bottom line is that bleach is far less effective than you may think as a disinfectant with numerous properties that really disqualify it from being a suitable choice for use in animal care facilities. Consider some of the following bullet points. Store-bought concentrations will range from 2% to 6%, which can lead to dilution confusion. A 1 to 32 dilution, or 1,600 parts per million, is recommended for routine disinfection. A 1 to 9 dilution or greater, at least 5,600 parts per million, is recommended for more difficult pathogens. Pre-cleaning is necessary because the presence of organic debris inactivates bleach. It is also inactivated by light and storage. It degrades rapidly, losing one half of its actives 
within 60 days of being manufactured. In fact, the EPA requires labeling stating that it degrades with age. When using it, it needs to be discarded every couple of hours. And because it is stabilized with lye, it has a high pH of 11 and a half, making it very corrosive to materials and facilities. It is a potent mucous membrane tissue and upper respiratory irritant. It should never be mixed with acids as toxic chlorine gas will be released. It must remain in contact with surfaces for at least 10 to 30 minutes for effectiveness, something many people are completely unaware of. And it combines with organic substances to create volatile organic compounds and carcinogenic byproducts. The bottom line is that if you've been using bleach, it's time to stop and move on to far better alternatives. It's just not providing you the security that you think it is. The next chlorine compound in our list of halogens is calcium hypochlorite or WYSIWASH. Because of the substitution of calcium in place of sodium in this compound, there's no need for the addition of lye to stabilize it. As a result, calcium hypochlorite has a pH of 8.5 which is slightly below the 9.0 pH tipping point that determines which form of chlorine ends up being most dominant. In this case, it would be the hypochlorous acid form of chlorine, which of course, as you remember, is 120 times more powerful than the hypochlorite ion form of the compound is that dominates in bleach. Consider some of these following bullet points. Because a more powerful form of chlorine dominates, only 75 parts per million is required for routine disinfection as opposed to the 1600 parts per million required when dealing with bleach. However, because there is no way to increase the concentration beyond 75 parts per million, there are microbes that calcium hypochlorite will not be able to effectively mitigate. For example, the four log kill of an independent University of Tennessee study done on canine parvovirus is not a sufficient kill level to be considered as a disinfectant. Calcium hypochlorite is far more stable than bleach, losing only 5% of its potency over an 18 month period of time. Each 200,000 part per million caplet lasts about three and a half hours in the WYSIWASH sprayer, or in other words, one caplet per 875 gallons of water at a flow rate of about 250 gallons per hour. One important note when using calcium hypochlorite or WYSIWASH is that water pressures must remain below 70 PSI to avoid over dilution. Unfortunately, like bleach, calcium hypochlorite is inactivated by organic debris, so pre-cleaning is necessary. Because these caplets are designed for use in a specialized spray applicator, the WYSIWASH sprayer, there is no mixing required. There is also no bleach staining, no rinsing necessary, and it is biodegradable. It must remain in contact with surfaces for 10 to 30 minutes, something most people are unaware of, just like with bleach. It combines with organic substances to create volatile organic compounds and carcinogenic byproducts. And lastly, never mix calcium hypochlorite with ammonia as toxic compounds will be released. The next chlorine compound in our list of halogens is NADCC, sodium dichloroisocyanurate, which is found in pure tabs and or brew clean. Because of the unique formulation of this compound, there's no need for the addition of lye to stabilize it like must be done with bleach. And as a result, NADCC has a pH of 6.5, which is well below the 9.0 pH tipping point that determines which form of chlorine ends up being most dominant. In this case, most of it would be the hypochlorous acid form of chlorine, which of course, as you remember, is 120 times more powerful than the hypochlorite ion form of the compound that dominates in bleach. Consider some of these following bullet points. The chemistry and mode of action of NADCC is significantly different than that of bleach, making for a halogen that is more effective and stable in the presence of organic debris. Tablets come in various sizes. They dissolve in about two and a half minutes 
requiring between one to four tablets per gallon of water. 100 parts per million is a 60 second food surface contact sanitizer and 1,076 parts per million for parvovirus virus disinfectant efficacy. The difference between pure tabs and brew clean or brew tabs is that brew clean and brew tabs contain a detergent, whereas pure tabs do not. Pure tabs were specifically designed for use in the Protexas electrostatic sprayer, which does not work with products containing a detergent. Use of a Protexas electrostatic sprayer allows for enhanced distribution and penetration of NADCC by electrostatically charging spray particles, thus giving droplets an attractive force 15 times greater than that of gravity. This magnetic attraction ensures consistent 360 degree application, providing three times the surface coverage of traditional sprayers or spray bottles. Solution is good for three days once activated, and tablets have a three-year stability prior to activation. NADCC is 50% less corrosive than bleach. It must remain in contact with surfaces for 10 to 30 minutes for disinfecting claims, and it combines with organic substances to create volatile organic compounds and carcinogenic byproducts. Regarding peroxides, the two to be discussed will be the liquid surface sterilizer, Stericide, something we believe every animal care facility in the country should have on hand in case of emergencies, and the accelerated hydrogen peroxide group of products, Excel, Rescue, and Oxyver. Here too, pH plays a very important role in understanding the suitability of these products for use in animal care facilities. And reading labeling is a must to properly evaluate the true economics of using some of these products. The cost savings purported by some are based solely on non-food contact sanitizer labeling claims and unfortunately do not represent the true economics of using these as a disinfectant. Now let's take a look at some of the accelerated hydrogen peroxide products. Excel, Rescue, and Oxyver for a few moments. As you can see, these chemistries are very corrosive, having a low pH of 1.0 in the concentrate and a pH of 2.3 in dilution. That's not too far away from the same acidity as seen with battery acid and hydrochloric acid. Remember, the farther one moves away from a neutral pH of 7.0, the more corrosive and damaging to surfaces and the more potentially harmful a product can be to animals and people. Also, these products are only effective in up to 200 parts per million of hard water, whereas most other disinfectant chemistries can demonstrate efficacy capabilities in 400 to 600 parts per million of hard water. These peroxides also leave a residue on surfaces, but there's more. Consider some of these additional bullet points. Accelerated hydrogen peroxide is a combination of hydrogen peroxide plus phosphoric acid and or sulfuric acid. If produced with phosphoric acid, it releases phosphates into the environment. These products are sometimes misleadingly represented as being very economical disinfectants to use, but done so by speaking of sanitizing dilutions, which are not representative of actual cost of use when used as a disinfectant. As a sanitizer, its label is either a 30-second non-food contact surface sanitizer at a 1 to 16 dilution, which is the same thing as 8 ounces of concentrate per gallon of water, or as a 3-minute non-food contact surface sanitizer at a 1 to 128 dilution, which is the same thing as 1 ounce of concentrate per gallon of water. Bear in mind, sanitizing claims speak only of bacteria and only provide for a three log kill or a 99.9% .9 reduction in microbes, a significant difference from being a disinfectant. Now here's where reading labels becomes very important. All bacterial and fungal disinfectant claims require a one to 16 dilution, eight ounces of concentrate per gallon of water. Odor control requires a 1 to 16 dilution, 8 ounces of concentrate per gallon of water. The Parvo claim requires either a 1 to 16 dilution, 8 ounces of concentrate per gallon of water at 5 minutes of contact time, 
or a 1 to 32 dilution, 4 ounces of concentrate per gallon of water at a 10 minute contact time. The bottom line is that these are very expensive products to use when used properly, requiring 8 ounces of concentrate per gallon of water for most all disinfecting applications. Using it at any other lower dilution as a disinfectant makes it ineffective against bacterial and fungal microorganisms. Be sure to read the label carefully if using these products. And don't forget, its low pH makes it very corrosive and it's only effective at proper label concentrations in up to 200 parts per million of hard water. The next peroxide solution to be discussed is Stericide, the only EPA approved liquid surface sterilizer on the market. If you want to make use of a peroxide, this is a far better choice than accelerated hydrogen peroxide. We believe every animal care facility in the country should have stericide on hand in the event of an outbreak and for use in isolation wards. Sterilizing is a step above disinfection, killing 100% of all forms of microbial life in 20 minutes. Though slightly acidic, having a pH of 4.5, it is not nearly as acidic as accelerated hydrogen peroxide products are, making it far safer to use. Consider some of the following bullet points. Stericide is a ready to use formulation that disinfects in one and a half to two minutes and sterilizes surfaces in 20 minutes. It is a proprietary combination of hydrogen peroxide and parasitic acid. It is non-corrosive, demonstrating excellent materials compatibility and effective in up to 400 parts per million hard water. It has good cleaning ability and works even in the presence of a heavy bile burden, leaving behind no film or residue. Stericide is also environmentally friendly, breaking down into nothing more than oxygen, water, and carbon dioxide. Bear in mind, you do need to wear gloves when using it as the liquid, until it dries, will temporarily bleach hands. Its proprietary technology also makes it ideal for use in electrostatic spray equipment like the Protexa sprayer. We recommend using Stericide for use in isolation wards, during outbreaks when you are in panic mode, and for periodic spraying down of critical surfaces at day's end. When you return in the morning, you'll know surfaces have been completely sterilized. Let's now briefly discuss sulfates. And here I'm referring to the potassium peroxamonosulfate powders Trifectant and Vercon S. These powdered forms of disinfectants are referred to as higher level disinfectants. That means they are stronger than most routine disinfectants. But remember, safety and efficacy are often at odds with one another in usage applications. And here again, pH plays a very important role in understanding the suitability of these products for widespread use in animal care facilities. The pH of these powders is quite acidic and corrosive and will result in skin and ocular burns if not handled properly. But they do have a place for when something more powerful than routine disinfectants is required. Potassium peroxamonosulfate is found in Trifectant and Vercon S. It is a higher level disinfectant and one of the few disinfectants that are effective on porous surfaces. However, it is very acidic having a pH of 2.5 and the powder is very corrosive. Consider some of these additional bullet points. Though effective, due to its high expense, it's not one of the best choices for use as a routine disinfectant. A 1 to 100 dilution is required, and that's made by mixing 1.3 ounces of powder per gallon of water. Each 10-pound bucket makes about 123 gallons of end-use solution. It does demonstrate activity on biofilms, and it is not inactivated by organic debris, but it does leave a residual film upon use, therefore it requires rinsing to remove the film. It is biodegradable, but it also releases phosphates into the environment. Because the powder is so corrosive, it is damaging the metals and surfaces over time. You need to wear protective gloves and goggles when using these powders as the powders will burn. Solutions are stable for seven days once activated. 
And as a higher level disinfectant, this is an appropriate product to have on hand in the event of disease outbreaks and or for occasional use in isolation wards, so long as you take appropriate precautions when using the powder. Now let's take a look at quats or quaternary ammonium compounds. Quats have been around for a long time and are one of the most well-known routine disinfectants in use today. You'll understand why in a few moments as we work through the various benefits afforded by these compounds. For starters, they play well with other chemicals during the formulation process to produce tailored solutions for a wide variety of applications. As disinfectants, they are generally referred to as being pH balanced, a real plus when considering safety and facility compatibility. The pH of these solutions is considered neutral ranging between 6.5 and 7.5, and they demonstrate excellent cleaning ability, something which you may recall accounts for upwards of 90% of one's success at battling diseases. They are also very cost effective, and many are one-step disinfectants where no rinsing is necessary for established efficacy. They are effective in up to 5% organic debris, and up to 400 to 600 parts per million of hard water. Quats come in various concentrations, the two most common being 1 to 64 solutions and 1 to 256 solutions. 1 to 64 solutions require 2 ounces of concentrate per gallon of water for routine disinfection and 9 ounces of concentrate per gallon of water for more difficult to control pathogens like canine parvovirus whereas the super concentrates or 1 to 256 solutions require one half ounce of concentrate per gallon of water for routine disinfection and two ounces of concentrate per gallon of water for more difficult to control pathogens like canine parvovirus. Super concentrates have less surfactants, dyes, and fragrances than regular concentrates, and subsequently they do not clean as effectively, nor are they as effective with odor control but that makes super concentrates great for automated scrubbers as they contain less soaps. As a reminder, the neutral pH makes these solutions much safer than many other disinfectant choices and also more compatible with the various types of materials used and found within animal care facilities. These are also generally regarded as being biodegradable solutions. The final product to be discussed in detail is aqueous ozone. Aqueous ozone is a chemical-free alternative to traditional sanitizing solutions that is 50% more powerful than bleach and 3,000 times faster killing microbes with a sanitizing time of between 30 seconds and 5 minutes depending upon the microbe in question. It is made on demand with a stabilized aqueous ozone dispenser and is formulated for use in food contact surfaces with no rinsing being necessary. And it is Green Seal certified. If you are looking for green alternatives, this is a great place to begin. Though bear in mind, it provides only sanitizing, not disinfecting claims. Aqueous ozone is relatively pH neutral and is a non-irritating solution that breaks down into nothing more than oxygen and water. That's about as environmentally friendly as you can get. The stabilized aqueous ozone dispenser turns ordinary tap water into stabilized aqueous ozone, a powerful natural cleaner, stain remover, deodorizer, and sanitizer. It provides residue-free performance for a long-lasting clean and low slippage by breaking down residual soaps and cutting through biofilm. Each Series 2 stabilizer cartridge makes up to 800 gallons of on-demand use solution, and solutions once made are good for up to 24 hours as a sanitizer and up to six days as a cleaner. The dispenser is designed for continuous flow to fill containers at a rate of five gallons per minute with a 10 minute safety shutoff feature. It exceeds Green Seal GS37 standards and it has FDA safe 21 CFR 184.15663 designation and is OSHA safety compliant. This concludes part four of our facility sanitation awareness webinar. Thanks so much for joining us.